My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're doing Pasta alla Grigia. It is one of the main four Roman dishes that they've created way back then that you should all learn how to make. It is so creamy and delicious and we're pairing it with what? Of course, an Italian wine. A Chianti Classico will just pairs up perfectly with it. Let's talk about what's in it. It's so easy, but I have a lot of really important tips. Four ingredients again. We have some rigatone. We have some freshly cracked black pepper. We have pecorino romano, and we have guanciale. And if you don't know what guanciale is, it is a cured pork. Uh, very similar to pancetta, except it's in two different areas. So if you can't find the guanciale, which is a pork cheek, use the pancetta, which is a pork belly. They're both cured, unlike American bacon that is smoked. That is the difference between them. So let's get started with this guanciale here. I'm going to be slicing this guanciale in quarter inch slices and then about full inches. So uh, I like to cut some nice thick lardons. And if you notice the difference here of this guanciale, you notice that it's much fattier. And that is the truth. It is because we're going to be rendering out that fat. So I like to cut some nice thick lardon sizes and we are going to be taking this into a pan and slowly bringing it up to temperature which will release all their nice fat out of this lardon which we're going to be using so uh let me finish cutting these up we just cut up all of our guanciale into lardons i have a dutch oven here with no oil cold pan turning on the heat to medium low and we are slowly going to bring this up. This will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your burner, to render out all the fat, crisp up the lardons. We'll take them out. I'll show you what it looks like halfway through so you can take a peek and know exactly if you're going right or wrong. In the meantime, we want to get our pasta water going because we want them both together at the same time getting finished. So let's get started on that water. Our next most important tip, we're going against all the rules well on out for, uh, for doing pasta. We, I'm bringing only two and a half quarts of water to a boil. I know always four to five quarts when you're doing a pound of pasta. We want less water and I am not adding salt. Yes, no salt, less water. Reason? We want more of a starchy liquid. In the end, we're going to use this starchy water, very starchy water, to emulsify with the rendered fat from the guanciale. And the guanciale and the pecorino are extremely, extremely salty. So the pecorino well, and the guanciale is cured. So um, if you salt the water, it's going to be way too salty. So those are great, important tips. So we'll let that water come to a boil. We're only eight minutes in and look at all the fat that rendered out of that guanciale. This is going perfect. Now what we wanna do is we just gonna crisp up the outer edges of that guanciale. While our water's coming to our boil, let's talk really quickly about the wine. It is a Chianti Classico Basilica Salatio. Um, let me first take a scent of this. This is an award-winning wine. Wine Spectre to give it many points. Smells 
I'm getting smells of wild berries with cherry, with a little like purple flower and like little new leather. Mmm. And the taste is like a little cranberry with cherry and it's it's very bright with smooth tannins a little bit of tobacco and clove on the end this is just gonna pair perfectly with this dish you're definitely gonna love it let's get that pasta in that water it's boiling pasta water is boiling let's get that rigatoni in there and because we don't have as much water as we normally do what you want to do right at first is to give pretty good stir and stir this for a few minutes just so it doesn't stick let that go to an al dente you definitely want to chew on this our pasta is done it's al dente but remember we want to save that starchy water so uh get a little strainer and you want to save all that water because we want at least two cups of that so let's put this aside and look how starchy that water is that's what's going to emulsify and make the sauce creamy with the fat so uh, let's put this aside and get started on our sauce our guanciale is finished and nice and browned up so with a slotted spoon we want to take them out of all that rendered fat because we are going to be using that rendered fat you should have enough rendered fat for at least one third uh, to a half cup, not over a half cup. You don't want over a half a cup of rendered fat. Now we have this starchy, starchy water. Let's pour it right into the fat here. So right into the fat, it goes. That bubbling action right there is what's gonna emulsify and make it creamy. It's gonna split apart the fat cells and the starch is just gonna keep everything separated. Now you wanna hit it with your cracked pepper and all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center for you. So you want your cracked pepper in there and you wanna let this boil and agitate like this for at least six minutes and it's gonna to reduce to about a, about a cup and a half and then we're going to add our pasta and finish it off in the sauce and then add our pecorino romano cheese and that'll just make it creamy and delicious our sauce has reduced take a look at it and now we're going to add our pasta back into the sauce and finish it off remember we did it to that nice al dente flavor so let's get that in there and keep moving it around into the pan. We wanna turn up the heat on this and make it, so we got a nice little boiling action going around in here and all the starchiness that is still on those pasta noodles is gonna go off into that sauce. And now we're gonna add our Pecorino Romano back into there like so and we're just gonna melt that into the sauce just keep stirring look at what this is creating I'm telling you once you try this you are gonna be coming back for more and more and more and more I'm telling you you just can't stop eating this this is like become my new favorite now take a look at that sauce down in there, how decadent and delicious that is. Now we're just gonna add in our guanciale back in there and we are done. Let's turn off the heat. Before I devour this whole bowl of pasta a la grigia, I first want to thank all my subscribers. 
And if you're not yet a subscriber, why not? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because that notifies you that I have a new recipe and I have one every Tuesday, but I'm gonna dig in here. I think I see the perfect noodle with the guanciale on it. Oh yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. <laughs> Talk about heaven. Oh. This is going to be your new favorite pasta recipe. Hands down. Guaranteed. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.